Kayo. Wait lang ah. Hi net. Okay, game. Kumpleto ba tayo? Okay, so, hi. Hi. Good evening. Ah, uh, okay. Pasahit na medyo kuha yung boses ko na mamala at nag-giga ko. Okay. Oh! Joke lang yun. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Namamala talaga ako um, since last Saturday. Um, so, first, thank you at nandito kayo lahat and I'm thankful rin na nandito ako sa harap niya at ng opportunity to talk. Um, so, sa mga hindi nakakilala sa akin, um, ako yung dad nung makulit na bata. Lakad ng lakad. Um, ako si Jeff. Um, taga CHCC rin ako. Part of the ministry sa CHCC. Kasama ng mga regular goers natin sa CHCC. Um, and hindi ko pa kayo na-meet kanina lahat. Wala ako ng introduction. Pero I'm really hoping na makilala ko pa bawat isa sa inyo. Peace until tomorrow and beyond. <coughs> okay, so. So, ba't ako nandito? Um, hindi naman ako youth, obviously. Hindi rin ako single. Eh. May anak ako. My wife is clear, Faith. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pero, um, so, I'm here kasi... <laughs> <laughs> ah, dito ako kasi um, So, youth and singles camp to Pero, may experience kasi ako doon um, Hindi sa youth camp This is my first time attending a youth camp um, Pero, may experience ako sa pagiging youth Dati rin ako youth Hindi ako laging <laughs> Ganto <laughs> Oof <laughs> Uh, dati rin ako single, obviously, hindi naman ako pa. So, so, yun. So, ay dito ako kasi gusto ko i-discuss sa inyo yung topic na um, topic na might be um, sensitive for, well, for some, um, especially sa ating mga believers. And um, yung topic natin na yun um, is falling in love with a non-believer. Um, I am a believer. I'm a Christian, but I was not always a believer. So I'm gonna try to explain um, this in um, in the perspective of both a uh, believer and uh, and someone who didn't believe um, our beliefs, Jesus Christ and Christianity. <laughs> so question, mune. Um, sinong in love ngayon? Uh, romantic way. Okay. Romantic na love na hindi ka hindi kay Lord. Pati ka nagtataas. Check your heart bro. Hindi siya nagtataas. Um, <laughs> grabe yung asawa ko. Hindi. <laughs> sino, sino na ang na-in love? Nagka-crash. Yeah. Infatuation. <laughs> well, wag obsessed eh. I- iba yan. Okay. So, um, so tinatanong ko to kasi, um, well, as Christians, and I hope everyone here is, um, are Christians. If not, that's totally fine. Pero, um, before that, na main love kayo sa isang believer um, sa Christian, then, take note na rin sa mga i-discuss ko sa inyo ngayon. Okay. So, as Christians, I'm just gonna read yung iba dito. Hindi ko siya na-memorize. Uh, so, as Christians, we should know firsthand how important faith is in our lives. Lalo na ako kasi asawa ko, pangalan niya faith. So, so, faith. Yun, faith. Faith is the foundation that keeps us grounded and guided and guides us in making the right decisions. Uh, So that being said, um, 
yung i-discuss ko sa inyo is not just falling in love with a non-believer but the pros and cons of falling in falling in love with a non-believer. Sorry, nakakandala muna ako. <laughs> okay. So, falling in love um, with a non-believer. The pros and cons. Um, again, sa tingin ko, bawat bagay na gawin natin is laging may pro and con. Um, pros and cons. Lahat naman siguro alam ko ang ibig sabihin ng pros and cons, diba? Like the positives and the negatives. Um, I think that came from um, a lat uh, Greek word or Latin uh, for pro, which is for, and con, which is uh, against. So against. So yun na ibig sabihin nun. So lagi siya may positive and negative sa so, bawat bagay na ginagawa natin. So on the one hand, kung nag-iisip tayo na may in love, or may nagugustuhan tayo na non-believer. Um, so, ano yung benefit nun sa atin? Um, one, it can be an opportunity para sa atin to introduce the love of Christ and to help them come to know God. Um, before I continue, um, so, it is really, um, if, we're gonna, if we are going to follow the Bible, um, it is not biblical for a, follow, uh, for a believer, for a Christian to fall in love with a non-believer. It's not biblical. Um, but are we committing a sin um, when we fall in love? Um, maybe if we are uneducated, and I, this is not for me to say, I'm not an expert on that mat matter. Pero, I was a non-believer and I got converted and it turned out, well, at least um, for me and for my wife, kasi um, naging aligned kami sa pananampalataya namin and we were able to make um, Christ, a part of our relationship. It's not just between me and faith, but it's between me and God and faith. So, three ways siya na, na love. And yun yung nangyari. But, again, um, that's really just for me. If you're go going to strictly follow the Bible, then um, you should fall in love with a believer. And I will be explaining that further um, during this discussion. Okay. <coughs> okay, when we are falling in love with a non-believer, um, it is important to approach these conversations with kindness and respect so as not to create tension in the relationship. By sharing our faith in a gentle and understanding way, we can draw our partner closer to God. So make sure that when we are in a relationship with a non-believer, that we always show kindness and respect even though hindi sila naniniwala sa beliefs natin, Treat them with kindness and respect. Hindi pwede na, yay, you're a non-believer. You're like, I'm better than you. It's not that way. Be, ikaw na yung, na, ikaw na yung na red flag, di ba? Ikaw na yung red flag, yung best na baliktad, di ba? You should be the one. So, no. We, we should be, we should always be, um, we should always be humble and always respect where the other person is coming from. Why is he not a believer? We should, we should know. It is not our place to judge them. Um, <coughs> so, tendencies mo convert siya, di ba? Kapag ka, na, nabigay natin yung natuto sila sa atin, and then they meet God through us, and they get saved by God, by Jesus, by knowing and accepting Jesus. Um, but yung benefit doon is hindi lang naman siya doon sa non-believer. Eh. It's also for us, the believers. Um, why? Kasi... When we are in a situation where we are to enter a relationship with a non-believer, it also helps us to strengthen our own faith. Kasi, there's going to be challenges that comes with that. Pwede kanya kontrahin. So, as a believer, use that opportunity to explain and to passionately defend your belief um, without compromise. Kailangan natin patunayan, ipakita by our by our works, by our faith, sa kanila yung pagiging kristyano natin. Um, and through that, mapapractice natin yun. It will make, sa, it will make us stronger. Just like pag-exercise, di ba, Kevin? Pag hindi ka nag-exercise, ano mangyayari sa'yo? Hindi ka healthy. Oo. Hindi ka physically fit, hindi ka magiging malakas, magiging babalik ka sa kasimpayat ng kapatid mo si Rico, di ba? And Rico is young, so that's totally fine. <laughs> Diba? Pero isipin mo, ang laki mo, tapos ang payat mo na ang tangkad mo, diba? Kasi, nag, ano, uh, muscle atrophy. So, hindi nakakaintindi nun, means that 
with, with the lack of use of your muscles, nandiliit siya, magdi-deteriorate siya, bakit di siya nagagamit? Ganun rin sa pagiging Christians natin, if we don't practice being a Christian, lalo na dun sa sitwasyon na we are falling in love with a non-believer, then mawawala rin siya sa atin. So, when we're dealing with a non-believer, we practice that as well by sharing um, the love of Christ to them. <laughs> so that's um, two of the like um, pros. One, we can make them Christians. We can be the way for them to meet Christ and to meet God. Um, the other is it's going to strengthen us. It's going to strengthen um, our faith, right? Our, our, um, the spirit in us, our spirituality. Um, but on the other hand, syempre, sabi ko, may cons, di ba? So, may potential pitfalls rin tayo sa being in a relationship with a non-believer. Um, one, biggest risk is pwede niya tayong mahila. The non-believer can lead us away from God. Um, man, paano mangyayari yun? Napinanganda ka ang Christian, hindi, nasa akin na to, ganito, ganyan, blah, blah, blah. No! I know people who, uh, who were born uh, we call that those people nurtured Christians. Uh, the nurtured Christians are the ones who are born from a Christian Christian family, mula pagkapanganak. But nakikita ko sila, and I know people, I personally know people na ganun, pero nahila sila because of a bad relationship. Nasway sila, nabola sila, and maraming mambobola. Ang pambobola rin, just to clarify, hindi lang mga lalaki yung bolero. Yun! <laughs> At yung mga babae, maraming bolera ang babae. I also know that for a fact. Tayo si Faith, maraming maligid sa akin. Hindi, pero totoo yun. Maraming nabobola, maraming like, lagi ako sinasabihan ni Faith, maraming akong barkadang babae that I should guard, um, guard myself, guard my heart. Um, and I know people who tried to steal me, who was trying to steal me away from my wife and from faith. I also know that for a fact, and I know people, uh, I know girls. So, hindi lang lalaki yung bolero. So, it's really easy um, to be swept away by the excitement. Kasi bago eh, lalo na pag nurtured Christian ka, nurtured believer ka, pinanganak ka, and then you're beginning to experience this um, new things, exciting things, um, makukulit na tao, you're fun to be with, going to parties, going to anywhere and everywhere um, without any restrictions. Um, minsan madaling mahila. Minsan madaling mahila. It's, sometimes it's actually easier than um, than what we imagine. And pagpagado na tayo sa sitwasyon na yun, na binubola na tayo, um, you're, you're there and like, you have that um, secure feeling na hindi ako basta-basta masasway. Pero no, if you do not guard yourself, madali ka masasway. That's one of the negatives of falling in love with a non-believer. Um, <coughs> another is, again, it can, it, falling in love with a non-believer or being in a relationship can cause us to compromise our faith. At eto na nga yun na, kaya tayo may hila eh. When they start compromising our faith, tuloy-tuloy na yan. Ngayon, kapag ka, doon na kayo sa sitwasyon na in love kayo sa isang non-believer, believe me, it is not worth it if they ask you to compromise your values, your Christian values, and your faith. Um, and when they do that, isipin nyo to ah, um, yung partner nyo, can, uh, is causing you to compromise your faith. Like, say, kunari, you're, 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 you have a schedule na follow, you're following a schedule to always go to the Sunday worship celebration, pero itong si non-Christian boyfriend or girlfriend biglang sinabi na, um, Sunday na lang tayo nagkikita, unahin mo pa ba yan? Bigyan mo naman ako ng time. Siyempre, ikaw as a Christian, sabi, <laughs> di ba? And and ang masakit dito, masakit dito, um, we give in. We give in. Sasabihin natin, isang Sunday lang naman to, makakahabol ako. Lalo na sa atin sa CHCC na meron namang live stream, papanoorin ko na lang yung replay. Papanoorin ko na lang yung replay instead of being physically present. Bakit? 
Kasi binook niya yung John Wick, ang tagal ko yung naantay yun, di ba? Ang... Sipin mo, tapos binook niya nung like, binook niya ng 10 a.m., same time ng service natin. Once lang to, hindi niya marirefund yun. Pag marirefund niya, uh, matagal. Matagal. Lagi niya marirefund, sayang yung pera. Yung church, lagi naman niya andyan. So, yun. That, that's one way na kinocompromise natin yung faith. Yung one time na we become weak and we, um, <coughs> we, we open our boundaries, we set our boundaries, and we become like free from, you know, uh, we free ourselves from our values. Um, and that's the wrong way of breaking chains. So that's why. Ngayon, kapag ka gano'y partner nyo, don't expect a lasting and fruitful relationship kasi if that person is willing to uh, make you compromise, isipin nyo ano pa yung hihilingin nyo sa inyo in the future. Ano pa yung mga future na mangyayari? Maybe once, pero once lang, pero for some, even for me, once is enough. Then me wrong once. That's too much. Uh, hindi ako maghahantay ng two is too much. Uh, especially at my age. I've been through a lot of experiences for me to discern um, kung kanino ako sasama. Yung relationship with a non-believer, it's not always naman la, like uh, with your romantic partner. Eh. Mga kaibigan nyo, kapag kainihilan na kayo ng mga kaibigan nyo na um, ang KJ mo naman, ngayon lang naman, ganyan, yay! Ikaw na yung santo, mga ganyan. Diba? Parang then maybe it's really not worth keeping that relationship. <laughs> um, and yun pa, kapag kayong beliefs and values nyo, if hindi siya nag-a-align <coughs> sa isa't isa, excuse me, <coughs> then yun nga, it's, it's like really a, a red flag na it's not going to be a, a spiritual relationship. And again, our relationship should be spiritual, just like our um, relationship with God. Um, and kapag ka yung love mo sa kanya is starting to um, to fill your heart and leave um, or, or take the space of God, then again, that's something that you should be thinking of. Kasi the, the biggest place of love in our heart should be for God. It's always gonna be God first. Always gonna be God first. Amen. Amen. Kasi yun nga, again, as Christians, our faith should guide every aspect of our lives from our behavior to our treatment of others, you know, even treatment sa, um, sa kanila. So, um, so paano natin ma prevent yung mga ganun na pangyayari? So I'm just going to read this. Um, if our partner does not share these values, our Christian values, um, it can create tension and conflict in the relationship. And uulit-ulitin ko to throughout my uh, my presentation, yung tension and conflict. Kasi nagkakaroon tension eh. May friction siya kapag ka hindi kayo aligned. This happened with me in faith. A lot of times before, uh, hindi ko na mabilang before kami ikasal, lalo na kahit nung kinasal na kami, kung ilang beres niya ako gustong hiwala yan. Kasi, um, I was causing her to compromise her faith. I was causing her to compromise her um her faith and um so yun yun personal experience time in there, there was this um time na well there are a lot of times that I'm also being reminded of yung mga times that gusto ko siya i-comprom gusto ko ng i-compromise yung faith niya. Bakit? Ano ako nare-remind? Sa Facebook uh, memories. Well, I was the type ko sa mga ka uh, Facebook friends ko ngayon, nakikita niyo na I rarely post anything in social media. Uh, there was a time na ang dami ko ipopost, meron pa ako pinost noon na, I think recent, ilang lumabas to na. Sabi ko doon, like, sige, magsama na kayo ng family mo at ng simbahan mo. G ganun na ako, yung lumalabas, eh. I know you remember those times. Noon pa, after noon, same day, I think na, <laughs> nahak noon. <laughs> Kaya ako yun. <laughs> <laughs> hindi hindi si Lily. <laughs> so may times rin doon na ayun nga nakita ko like recently na para, parang sige magsama-sama kayong lahat. I felt like ako yung ina-attack and doon siya nag-church. Iniiwan na lang niya ako sa bahay namin. Um uh, ini-ignore na lang niya yung pagiging mainitin ng ulo ko, pagwawala ako, paglalasing ko para hindi ma-compromise yung faith niya. And buti na lang ganun siya. Kasi paano kung hindi, then malamang hindi kami kasama dito, hindi kami nakabalik ng CHCC. Diba? So, so, so kapag ka, ayaw niyo si Faith, talaga yung Faith niya is like, yung, her name really says ito. 
pagdating sa sa magiging believer niya. And I'm really thankful um sa kanya. Um but still, um, how were we able to um um college Paano namin nalaman na compatible kami sa isa't isa nung, ay, kahit naman mga nag-aaway kami. Um, okay. So this, it is um, important, it is crucial, it is crucial to have an open and honest conversation with our partner about our beliefs and values so that we can determine we, whether we are truly capable, um, compatible. <laughs> So no, and, um, I know there are really a lot of young people here. Pero um, like, siguro mga ten, more than ten years ago, merong coffee shop sa session kung nasaan ngayon yung Point and Grill. It became a Korean bar pa. So, Nakalimutan yung name niya. Pero madalas kami ni Faith doon. Ang ginagawa lang kami, so hindi umiinom si Faith. Uh, gagawin namin, the date kami doon, like, magka-coffee kami from, like, what, 10, 9, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., umaabal kami hanggang 5 a.m. Nagkakape lang kami sa inyo gano'ng karami na tayo. Kami na lang yung tao doon. Kilala na kami ng mga tao. Alam nila kung ano in order namin. <laughs> na, uh, ang pan namin, as in, yung, yung pan namin, kasi it was open before, eh. Wala naman pintuan yun katulad ngayon na kwan. So, ang pan talaga, yung mga dumadaan sa session, like, it's an open coffee um, shop. Bar or something. So, ganun. Ang ginagawa namin, nag-usap lang kami. Everything under the sun. It happened um, numerous times. Nandun lang kami. Nag-usap kami. And I'm pretty sure na marami kami pinag-usapan kay Faith about her faith. Um, her faith. Her Christian values. Kasi, I'm the type of person na ayokong pumatol sa tao na walang, sorry for the term, walang substance. Ayoko nang like, ganda lang. Hindi pwede. Mabobor lang ako yun na <laughs> So, yung mga talks namin, discussions namin na ganun, it's like, it really lasted for a long time. Mangga sa, we were really getting to know each other. Um, I began respecting her. Yung mga times na nag-post ako sa social media, like I posted, yun yung mga times na I was like on a relapse. Um, I was bouncing back to my old life kasi like, I was so fresh, you know, and so young in the Christian world that I wasn't really truly getting it. Um, and she really stayed there until, um, until maintindihan ko yung, kung ano yung dapat ko maintindihan. Um, pero, pero before that, syempre, lalo na nung mga time na yun, Liga One stage, syempre, hindi ko siya kano kontra, eh, talagang ko, hindi ba? Like, ba't ko naman ko kontra? Oo, oh, no, oo. Oh. <laughs> okay, pero ultimately, the, the decision of whether to pursue a relationship with a non-believer Again, kung if we're gonna follow the Bible, it should not. But, since nagbunga naman sa akin na maganda, nagbunga ng faith na maganda, that decision is gonna be left to you guys. I know, especially in this group, maraming young girls here. Um, high school, lahat. College, high school lahat. Sila, college. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Sa age nyo, sa generation nyo, this is the time na magkakaroon kayo ng maraming temptations from the boys. So, you know, stay away from the popular boys at school. <laughs> well, seriously, stay away from them. Stay away from those people who read, who are um, metrosexual, yung grabe kung pumorma. In, again, hindi ako nagjudjudge ng tao, but I am going to give my reason in NFQ. Stay away from those boys na bolero, na ginagamit yung sense of humor na ang hilig kayong patawarin. Bakit? Kasi these people, most of the time, do not have Christian beliefs. Bakit? Kasi these people, kaya sila pumuporma kasi they're seeking um, validation, external validation. Gusto nila magustuhan sila. Baka sila nagpapatawa kasi gusto nila maging attractive sila. Gusto nila ma-attract yung mga babae. <laughs> yung, yung, <laughs> yung, yung, I'm not saying na everyone na baka pinalaki lang talaga sila ng magulang nila na like pananamit na ganyan or gusto nila very um, gusto nila very light lang yung aura uh, kaya lagi sila nagpapatawa but be very very cautious about these people na mga ganun. and I know why, why do I know? because I was one 
I was my during high school. <laughs> that's why, that's why I know. I was a bit of popular nun sa high school. Kilala ako nun. Boy sa UB, kilala nila ako nun. Hanggang session nun, session road, maglalakad lang ako, taas, so, pababa, abutin ako 30-45 minutes kasi ang daming nakikiapir. Kilala, hey Jeff, ano nga ito? Yes. Mga ganyan. Kilala na ganun. Kaya I, I know when, yun nga, that was like um, the time of my life na talagang um, really, really worse. Okay? So, just a recap. Oh. Wait lang, wait lang. So, ano naman gagawin natin doon? So, na-discuss natin. Konti lang yung pros and cons. Sa totoo lang, it's very direct naman eh. We don't need to make it complicated. Uh, we don't need to make it complicated. It says, uh, do or don't. Diba? So, in line with that, kailangan natin as Christians, we should follow some principles. Um, principles. What principles? So, na-miss ko kasi mag-school. <laughs> so, parang gusto ko mag-enroll ulit soon. So, yun. Um, so, there are certain Christian do's and don'ts. So, mabilis lang to. One, do. Do prioritize your faith. When we say do prioritize your faith, your relationship with God should always come first. Should always be um, comfort, come first. Um, so, what does that mean? That means that you continue to go to church and learn at church Engage in prayer pa rin. Huwag yung kakalimutan yung prayer. Napaka-strong na prayer. I personally have, I have personal experiences on um, how powerful prayers are. Um, engage in your Bible studies and always live according to your Christian values. So that's do number one. So number two, do communicate openly and honestly about your faith. Um, <coughs> so doon sabi ko, kami ni faith, um, that happened to us. We communicated honest. Um, she communicated openly and um, honestly about her faith. Um, pero hindi naman nangyari yung love story namin overnight. Eh. You know, it didn't happen that way. Um, there's this um, scripture from 2 Corinthians um, verse 6 um, or chapter 6 verse, four, verse 14. <clears throat> May bibigay ako sa inyo mamaya so you don't need to write that down. Um, if you are, then that's fine. So, sabi, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness or what fellowship has light with darkness? So, what does that mean? Um, specifically on the, do not be un un unequally yoked with unbelievers. Uh, does everyone know what a yoke is? Yoke? Ano yoke? <laughs> Nakikita nyo yung kwen, yung handle ng wooden bike? Saan siya gawa? Wood. Ano yung purpose niyan bago nila rin yung purpose na maging bike? Ha? Siya yung nilalagay sa kalabaw. Yung nilalagay sa kalabaw. Tapos, yung, yung, yung wood na yun, yun yung linalagay sa kalabaw at doon kinakabit yung araro. Alam niyo ba to? Alam niyo pa ba yan? Wow. Oh. Nakikita na ba kayo? Yeah. Okay. So, yun yun. So, um, so paano ka ni yoke? May mga yoke, yoke ang tawag doon, na pang dalawang kalabaw, for ease. So, yung ganun is like dalawang curve. Pwede nyo i-google mamaya yun. So, dalawang curve, bakit ganun? Para dalawang kalabaw, yung gihila ng araro or ng kalesa nila, their cart, karitela nila. Ngayon, pag hindi siya equal, if they're unequal, anong mangyayari? Magiging burdensome dun sa farmer or they're going separate ways, hindi sila aligned. So, meaning when, um, as partners, you should be equally yoked with your partner. Dapat pareho kayo ng direksyon, pareho kayong pinupuntahan, pareho kayo ng goal, and you're aligned with each other. So, yun yan. At, kaya ako natuwa kasi yung nakita ko, uy, yoke. Tapos, yun, I have, I have my examples now. <laughs> 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 so, yun yung props. 
So yun. Um, so that's our second. Do co um, communicate openly and honestly about your faith. <coughs> um, next is do pray. Do pray for your partner's salvation and believe in the power of prayer. Um, so, up until recent, hindi naman siguro recently, years back na rin, I was a heavy smoker. I was a chain smoker. And I was a heavy drinker. I was a drunkard. I, I began smoking since, um, I don't know, maybe 12, 13 years old. I stopped. Like, fatal lang taon na akong clean. Six years. <laughs> Six years. Six years na akong clean. Uh, matagal na ako, hindi umiinom. I'm not even longing for the feeling, the taste anymore. So, I can say I'm clean. Yeah. So, <coughs> and, kunento to ni Faye, kunento niya rin sa mga iba. Some of you here might have heard it. Um, and she can elaborate on that uh, later on. Um, doon daw, pag lasing ako, umuwi sa bahay, pinagpipray over niya ako. Kasi nakaganan yung kamay niya sa akin from her story. Sabi ko, Ano kaya nangyari? Pag habang pinagpe-play mo ako, bigla akong nagising. <laughs> Siya, be weird. Parang, patay na ba ako? Parang pinagkadasal mo na pa. <laughs> Or ano mangyayari? Pero, her prayer saved me and tinulungan ako. Um, <laughs> another thing, sinare ko to kaya ito siya kanina, the power of prayers. If it's really true and you're praying and God is really in your heart, sab, kagabi, yung kid namin, si Roman, si Ninat, around, sinundo ko siya from play around 7 p.m. Tapos, normally, so really very active. Like, ngayon, medyo masama. Pakiramdam niya, pero active pa rin. Pero si Ninat, siya, talaga napaka, like, init niya. 37 point something and 0.9. So... Taas yun, especially for his age. Tayo, nakakapaso siya. Um, and then around 8 p.m., so pinag-rest na namin, around 8 p.m., sabi ni Faith, bumili na ako ng gamot. Pag ako bumili gamot, doon ako sa kotse, nag-pray ako, talaga nag-pray ako ng matindi. I was praying to God to heal Roman, to cast out any demons or any curses from our family that's surrounding, shrouding our family. Um, I, I really prayed for, I don't know, know how long bago ako umalis at nag-drive to go sa pharmacy sa, sa may BGH na ako nakabili dahil yun na lang yung bukas that time. Um, and then, balik kami, pininom namin si Roman, bumaba ng konti, naging 37.3, 37.4, and then, pinatulog na namin. Tapos, humiga na rin ako katabi ni Roman. Um, around 11pm, so, nakatalakbong ako ng kumot, nagpo-phone ako sa loob kasi hindi ako makatulog. Mamaya, may nakakalabit sa akin. Si Roma nagising. And normally, pag may sakit siya, yung sakit niya nagtatagal talaga. Never happened na gumaling siya kaagad. It would last days na hospital pa yan. Um, and then, bigla niya ako kina, um, kinalabit kasi may pinabili siya sa amin nung hapon. Namingis niya daw yung Tokyo, Tokyo. So, binili namin nung karaage. Chicken. Pero hindi siya nakakain kasi nga masa, pinatulog na namin pag uwi. Um, and then... Bilang tanong niya lang, tapos sabi ko, why? Why, Roman? Are you okay? Tapos sabi niya, um, did you save some of my favorite food for me? So sabi ko, yes, um, it's in the freezer. Ah, it's in the ref. Go back to sleep, sabi ko. So nag-okay siya, nag-good night, nag-I love you, good night. Tapos siguro mga 5-10 minutes lang, naramdaman ko, may nag-slide sa may paadan ko. Tumayo siya. Tumayo si Roman, lumabas, gutom daw. Nung... <laughs> No tinest naman yung sa, yung sa thermometer na naman, wala siya sinat. Wow. Wala siyang sinat. And then, natatawa si Faith kasi nagkatrabaho siya and nagkakentuhan kami habang sinasamahan ko kumain. Sobrang dal-dal na parang hindi siya nagkasakit. And again, never once in his eight years of life did that happen na ganun kabilis yung, yung, yung sinat niya na ganun, na grabe na talagang fine. As in, yun, yun. That's like one of the very recent miracles na ginawa, dinulot ng prayer sa amin. That was last night. Literally last night. And ang galing. So, believe in the power of um, prayer. Kung mahal nyo rin si non-believer, ipagdasal nyo, wag kayo magsasawa, nakikinig ang Diyos. In His time, everything's going to sum up. Everything's perfect in His time. Wag kayong may init. <laughs> um, next. Um, so, do 
set healthy boundaries. So, mag-set tayo ng boundaries. Um, bakit tayo mag-set ng boundaries doon kay non-believer? Kasi, yun nga, baka mamaya, nag-out of bounds na yan. And he's already asking us, or she's asking us to do something that is not aligned with our Christian values. So, make sure that you are clear about your convictions. Okay, if they ask us something um, that's not aligned with our faith, be open. Wag kayo matakot. Wag kayo matakot na ma-offend siya when you say no. Never ever. Kapag ka nagalit siya, then he's not for you, she's not for you. Let them go. Masakit? Siguro, oo. Lilipas rin yan. <laughs> get over it. Get over it. Why? Kasi hindi naman talaga siya siguro yung binibigay ng Diyos sa inyo. At may red flag na nga eh. So, wag yun ang ipilit. Wag yung ipipilit yung gusto nyo. Kaso mahal ko siya. <laughs> diba? Okay, um, one more. Um, do show love and respect to your partner. Again, it doesn't matter if they are a Christian, a believer, an unbeliever, or what other religious belief they are following. If they are your partner, treat them with love, respect, and kindness. Um, again, show them the love of Christ through your words and actions. Be a positive influence in their lives. Wag yung kontrahin. Yung kontrahin yung kwan nila. Again, it's not our it's not our job to bring them to salvation. It's the Holy Spirit's job to bring them to salvation. We are vessels, yes. We are away. Um, but how do we show? Um, by uh, saan si Carm? Carm, I need your coat. Words with action speak the loudest. Speak the loudest. <laughs> so that that's how we can show them our Christian values. So yung mga do's natin, doon naman tayo sa dapat nating iwasan. Very similar rin naman to. Um, so one, do not compromise your faith. Again and again, it should. Do never compromise your faith for the sake of a relationship. Um, avoid participating in activities or behaviors that go against your Christian convictions. Even if your partner encourages, encourages, medyo pwede pa eh. But, if they pressure you to do so, then, medyo mali na yan. Sumama ka na ito, ngayon lang naman ito, eh, kiljoy ka naman. Takot ka sa pastor nyo. <laughs> Baka mag, wag, tayo, wag tayo sa bar na yan, tambay si Kuya Jong. Kuya Jong na yan, hindi na ako nag, hindi na ako nag bar. <laughs> Kutsa niya yun, nakapar. <laughs> Do not engage in missionary dating. What's missionary dating? Sino nakakaalam ng missionary dating? Okay. Missionary dating. I'm just gonna read the description muna sa... Ha? <laughs> Ay, missionary dating. As for Google, missionary dating is when a single Christian dates a non-Christian with the intention or hope of converting them to Christianity and possibly scoring... A Christian spouse in the process. Ay, nakaskoro ko. <laughs> okay. To put that more into context. Um, kunwari, may naliligaw sa inyo. And I'm going to just say this specifically for the girls. Kasi, um, well, I don't know. I may be biased here. Pero, kunwari, may naliligaw sa inyo. Non-believer. Okay, so isasama niyo sa church. So, syempre, pupunta yan. Um, tulad ako, sabi ko noon, I don't, Though if anyone can remember yung testimony ko nung anniversary um, last year na pumapasok na ako sa simbahan dati. Roman Catholic ako dati. Kung nandiligaw ako, nagpapa-impress ako. Nagpapa-impress ako. So, sige, tara, simba tayo. <laughs> <laughs> simba tayo, di ba? Pero tapos, ano mangyayari, di ba? So, ano mangyayari? Sasama sa inyo sa church. Pero wala naman ka talaga kayong intention na Sagutin or wala naman kayo nararamdaman pero ginawa nyo, ginawa yung mission na sama ko to kasi non-believer siya baka ako yung maging daan para maging Christian siya. Um, yun. <laughs> yun. Di yun yun. <laughs> Mali yun. Mali yun. Kasi um, 
kay kailangan niyo pagiging Christian nila it should you know come from personal their conviction personal conviction hindi from external pressure na yung parang <laughs> pag di ka nagpababdice ha hindi ka nasasagutin <laughs> di ba so parang wag naman um one maling mali mali siya sobrang mali um and it's very manipulative you do not want to be that manipulative person kasi hindi rin naman mag-work out yung relasyon nyo eh. Maybe, in love na in love sa inyo, nag-convert siya to Christianity dahil sa inyo, pero masasabi mo ba talaga na that person is truly a Christian by heart and soul and spirit? Kung ang mahal niya is ikaw, hindi yun at ikaw lang. Hindi si God, hindi si Jesus, hindi niya in-accept. Um, Uh, this is very sad, hindi na ako magna-name, pero alam naman natin na may mga ibang religions out there, ibang beliefs na, belief system na hindi ka pa nang pakasal, hindi ka nang pakonvert. <laughs> We know that. We don't need to name names. And I'm really happy na na-inlove ako sa Christian. Aww. Kasi I was a Catholic. And even even then, kung gaano kalakas yung yung, yung and katindi yung pinakita ni Faith na Christian values, nung nagpa-plano kami ng kasal ka namin, I never, I never asked her to marry me in a Catholic church. I never did. Talagang sa Christian church. So kaya ulit, kami yung unang kinasal ni Pastor Arnel. And and we are happy. We are happy. And, uh, and he's happy rin na. Like, karoon siya experience na ganun. We truly acknowledge that. Uh, so ganun. Ganun yan. Kasi again, genuine faith, <coughs> genuine faith should come from a personal conviction not from external pressure. So, tatandaan nyo yung missionary dating. Tandaan nyo for the sake lang of you avoiding to be that person. <laughs> wag nyo siya kaka... <laughs> wag, wag nyo siya gawin. Hindi siya maganda kasi, again, it's not our job to convert them. It's not us who saves them. So, wag natin gawin yun na... Wag natin gamitin yung, 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 yung avenue na yun. Let's not use that. Okay, next. Do not neglect your spiritual <laughs> growth. So it's easy to get caught, caught up in the emotions of a romantic relationship, but it's important to continue prioritizing your relationship with God. Never neglect your prayer, your Bible studies, your ministries, your involvement in church, just because your partner does not share your faith. Again, going back to the example kanina, Um, dahil hindi ko siya makakasama kayong Sunday, sige, skip na lang ako at makasama ko siya. Pag ganun, pag ganun. Again, God should always come first. God should always come first. Um, and there's even one example dito from the last worship encounter. So, sa mga naka-attend ng worship encounter sa church, um, we had a guest speaker noon, si Pastor Zobel Tolosa. Sinabi niya, even, even, we, even, within the church, with the ministries, that discipleship should always come first before any other ministry. Kasi ganun siya ka-importante. So, for example, music team. Music team, kahit matagal na ako hindi nakatagtag. Kasi walang tech. Yung tech naman kayo, gusto ko nang tumugtugol. So, <laughs> music team, kung kunwari, nag-set tayo, song leader. Kunwari, si Aya, nag-set siya, song leader. Si sinabi niya, um, o oh, 8A, o oh, nga, no, ikaw pala yung song leader sa kwan, no? <laughs> So, sunrise. <coughs> Reminder. <laughs> Kunwari, um, so, di ba si song leader yung nagsaset ng oras natin. Sinet niya, let, example lang to, set natin sa Saturday, 8am, kasi may lakad siya ng hapon, or anything, any other reason. Pero, kunwari, back up si Faith. Hindi pala kunwari yun, back up ka pala talaga. So, pero si Faith, may small group siya, may mentorship siya, discipleship at that time. So, ano ang gagawin ni Faith? Iko-compromise ba niya yung discipleship para mag-attend ng music team um, rehearsal, practice? Or anong gagawin niya? At dapat niyang gawin is sabihin niya na hindi siya pwede. It's either she looks for a replacement um, for her or hindi siya mag-attend. Or if the other members um, can adjust, then we adjust for her. Bakit? Kasi the discipleship of the individual should always come first. Huwag natin ko kompromiso yun. Bakit? Kasi yung discipleship nila, it's our growth, eh. it's our progress, it's our way of learning more about God, knowing Him more, making Him more, uh, 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 a bigger part of our lives. Kaya, huwag natin ko kompromiso. So, reminders na rin sa ating mga song leaders here, 
uh, wag lang tayo mag-set ng oras natin sa music team. Let's ask muna our members. Kunwari si Rico, meron siyang small group. Instead of him leaving early, tapos hindi pa naman tayo masyadong pulido sa practice natin, let's ask na lang. Um, and same as with everyone here na like part, again, with the music team, kung meron kayong mga discipleship, during the time of practice, mag magsabi kayo, we are a group here, we are a family here, we are together, we are brothers and sisters. It is also our right to know kung ano yung nagbaburden sa inyo so we can make adjustments for you. Kung marami yung nag-iisip ng solusyon sa isang problema, mas dumadali at numiliit yung problema. Okay? Okay. <coughs> uh, <laughs> May narinig ako kanina marunong mag-gitara. What's that? Wait, kunin mo yung papers? Hmm. Ako sa'yo. <laughs> okay, next. So, malahit ito. So, do not ignore red flags. Yeah. Okay, ano yung mga red flag natin? Ano yung mga red flag? One, um, if your partner consistently disrespects your faith or belittles your beliefs. Iba, napakatinding red flag nun. Kasi dinisrespect ka na eh. Sabihin na, alam mo yun, si Kanyo. Lame naman. Diba? So, ngayon, non-believers, eh, hindi naman dahil non-believer, automatic na hater yan eh. No, some believers just really need to be... I was a non-believer, but I never hated Christ. I never hated Christians. I never hated born again Christians or, or whoever. I've even hanged out with atheists and you know a, a lot of colorful groups. Na yung ako lang buhay ko. Pero hindi ibig sabi na hater. Ngayon kapag kasi nan believer friend nyo, is a hater. That's a big red flag. Mezo magisip pa siguro kayo kasi yung taong yun is like he's he's got chaos in his heart. He's got hatred in his heart. And again, kapag ka ganun, ibig sabihin, medyo malalaking laking trabaho yung gagawin ninyo para mapalapit. And are you really willing to risk that? Kasi the, the time na pag yung, yung partner nyo ganyan, that can lead to deeper incompatibilities. Kung ganun yung way nyo ng pag-iisip na minamaliit na yung value nyo, um, then think about, again, what can that person do? Or how can that person destroy you in the future destroy your beliefs and destroy can be a harsh word but it happens so do not ignore yung mga red flag na mga uh, ganun <coughs> kahit na yung mga iba kahit sabihin mo okay hindi siya hater pero bakit parang napapadalas yata na may lakad kami pag worship celebration tapos minsan minsan sasama siya sa akin kinakaibigan niya yung ministries kinakaibigan yung congregation kilala na siya pero Parang consistent, ah, every month, once a month. Inaaya niya ako somewhere during the Sunday service celebration. Kahit na hindi naman importante. May trended behavior. May trended behavior. Huwag niyong i-ignore yun. Kasi that person, eventually, you know, they might. Oh, not eventually, but they might. Baka yung one Sunday a month na absent kayo, magiging dalawa, magiging hanggang sa months na hindi na kayo nakaka-attend. So, wag yung hahayaan na makompromiso kayo ng ganun. <laughs> so, wag yung de-dismiss yung mga, mga ganun um, signs. Uh, it's important to prayerfully discern whether the relationship is aligned with your Christian values. And with that, again, do not compromise. Again, paulit-ulit, do not compromise your values and morals. Okay, so, um, wait. Okay, so avoid compromising your Christian values and morals in your relationship with a non-believer, even if it means making difficult decisions or ending the relationship. Wag ay matagal na yung break. Hindi na aligned. Hindi siya ang mundo nyo. Ang mundo nyo si Lord. Ang mundo nyo si Lord. Alam nyo and and also especially um. To, to, to our um, teenage girls here, um, niwala kayo sa akin, hindi sila yung mundo nyo. Ang dami kong beses na umiyak at nag-threaten na magpakamatay sa lahat ng mga nag ex hindi sa lahat, pero sa mga ibang exes ko. Pero after a while na let go ko na rin, eh, bakit ko sila na let go? Kasi hindi talaga sila yung meant for me, hindi naman talaga siya yung binibigyan ng Diyos sa akin. Masakit lang siya at the moment, 
at that moment pero na it, it's really na it, strengthen your faith and it's gonna be a lot easier if you have God on your side and make God on your side lagay nyo sa puso nyo okay um, so we'll have a short activity um, I distribute na man okay so so um, so ano gagawin natin meron na ba lahat Yes. All right. Oy, nakasha. Okay. <laughs> okay, so ang ganito gagawin natin. So, buksan niyo siya back to back 'yan. There are andyan yung do's and don'ts na mga binanggit ko plus accompanying Bible scriptures. I want you to look at each box and look for the one. Just choose one. Uh, just choose one that resonates with you. Yung nakaka-relate kayo. If you are not in a relationship, ano yung nag-resonate sa inyo from a past relationship? Kung hindi pa kayo nagkakaroon ng relationship, um, look for the one that you think, knowing yourself, might be the one that would um, um, relate to you. After that, um, markahan nyo. Markahan nyo lang yung box and anything. Wala tayong highlighter. Um, just mark it. Mark it with your pen. And then, I'll give you a few minutes to read the passage in the Bible. Yung accompanying niya. Pero may Bible lahat? Or wala? Kung wala, mag na lang tayo. Sige. Yeah, nabilis lang. Siguro mga kwaya. I'll, I'll, let's try six minutes. <laughs> Ayan, sige. Let's, let's, let's conclude na. Okay, let's kind na. Uh, let's conclude na. Yung mga hindi pa tapos, okay lang yun. As long as minark nyo. Um, dun sa packet guide. Okay, so, gawin natin. So, yung mga yan, sa inyo na yan. I'm not gonna ask you, I'm not going to ask you to read the passages or kung ano yung nag-resonate sa inyo na um, do or don't. Um, but, What I want is to encourage you to always keep that. Put it not only in your in your pockets. Put it in your wallets. Um, kung kung merong kay coin purse or anywhere ID, um, kasama ng mga license niyo. Oh, Pauline, may license ka na. <laughs> Alapit na, alapit na. Isama niyo siya bakit? Kasi gusto ko um, gamitin niyo yun. Use it as a toolkit. kung kinakailangan nyo. So, itabi nyo siya, um, review it, um, once you're home, um, ina-encourage ko rin na go through all the scriptures, basahin nyo, aralin nyo siya, huwag nyo lang siyang basahin for the sake of babasahin, pero aralin nyo, take time to understand kung ano yung sinasabi ng bawat um, isa, kung ano yung message sa atin. So, just gonna read this. <clears throat> so, in conclusion, falling in love with a non-believer can present both challenges and opportunities for a Christian. It's important to prioritize your faith. Communicate openly and honestly about your beliefs. Set healthy boundaries. Show love and respect and avoid compromising your faith. Seek guidance from God. and wise counsel from fellow believers as you navigate this complex situation. So, seek counsel from belief, from other fellow believers. Wag yung sosolohin. Wag kayo mahiya. Baka sabihin nyo, nakakahiya na yung laba ko sa coin. Ikakahiya na ako church. Hindi. Magsama-sama tayo. Tulad yung sabi ko, let's talk about um, our challenges. Don't don't burden it. Yung mga burdens ka natin, gusto nga ni Lord. Siya nang pumako, di ba? So, wag nang sulohin. Wag nang sulohin yung mga burden na yan. So, remember, remember, your relationship with God should always come first. And any relationship should align with your Christian values and convictions. May God grant you wisdom and discernment as you journey through relationships. And I really hope na, you know, um, the romantic relationships would not be That much? Hopefully one. If not, then 
Huwag yun nating paramihin. And let's learn to discern. Uh, so, yun lang. For me, I, I really hope na may natutunan kayo. Um, before we do our questions and answer portion, we're just gonna make it short. short. Transition ko muna kay Faith. Um, for whatever she wants to say. <laughs> nice.